So I I took Ma to the dock, right, last week, and the news, <laughs> all you hear is death, war, famine, death, war, famine, death, war, famine. And you look outside, it's just, <laughs> and it's complete normal, normal stuff, right? Uh-huh. But basically what happens is I take Ma to the dock and... Dude, it took me like, I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't hear anything you said because when you said Ma to the dock the first time, I had no idea what words came out of your mouth. Right. So I took Ma to the dock <laughs> and, um, you know, I kind of, I haven't been to the doctors in so long. I really forgot that the the, the first thing that happens is you, well, I guess the second thing happens. First thing you do is you sit down, mm. right? Because there's a waiting room. So you sit your fat ass down and then the second thing you do is, oh, let me see what's on the television. Mm. And then you remember every single doctor's office in America has a legally binding contract with the government. That the only thing they're allowed to show you is the news, right? <sighs> Basically, what happens is I'm sitting there and they're just telling me this absolute nonsense, right? First thing I hear, the first thing I hear, it's snowing outside. It's a cold winter mm. day. <laughs> I have to go up an elevator to the fourth floor of a building, not how most doctor offices are set up, okay? Mm-hmm. Weird enough already. Go upstairs, feels like I'm in an office park, go into this weird, like, glass three, two, two panes of glass within a glass door next to it, and then have a little cut, like a little shoe cut out doctor's office, right? I go in there, and it's the first thing I see, some moron yelling at me on the TV to keep duct tape around <laughs> for the winter in my car because it's a great fire starter. Oh, really? That's now, of course, Floyd Pambrose, or whatever Channel 12's pencil dick is actually named, <laughs> he doesn't say keep it lighter, though. He says this is a great fire starter. You you and of course, tape. no, of course, he, no, 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 no. He lights the duct tape with a good old Bic lighter, but he doesn't mention that. So I guess that's the less crucial part of this. It's more important. I guess that was a given, or maybe it's not, maybe I'm supposed to create the fire, and it was just done to, to show us how quick it could be if I could just make fire that. It's like, but well, you should go in the woods, do it the old fashioned way, but you should keep <laughs> duct tape on you at all times because duct tape's a great fire starter. They actually sell duct tape. Anyone a great fire starter? The big lighter he held in his hand. <laughs> Believe it or not, I think that was more of a contributing part. And also, not to mention, you know, we're watching The Office again, and fucking Dwight makes that remark talking about how using a um, a book for fuel is a terrible idea because it would burn so fast. Mm-hmm. This guy lit the duct tape, and yet, it, the, guess, all right, I'll be honest. I didn't know duct tape was flammable. I that seems stupid to me. <laughs> yeah. Turns out it's very flammable. Also, it seemed to burn kind of fast. It seemed like one of those scenes in Survivor, they put on too much of the coconut husk, and now, they've known the, now, now the fire's nice. done. So what do you say? It's a great fire what? Great fire starter. Oh, so The guy was like, hey, guys, you should keep her. duct tape. Here's some tips for the winter. Keep duct tape on you in your car to start a fire. It's like, again, sure, the fire located, was made dude? with the duct tape. But again, you know what started the fire? The pink Bic lighter. <laughs> I think the first tip for survival should have been keeping a lighter in your car. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most survival books don't say anything with duct tape. It's no. keep a lighter, keep an army knife. No, no, no. And duct tape. tape yeah. yeah, duct tape's always there. I forgot about oh, that. Yeah. The next tip. What do you think the next one is? Well, Survi- is this all, still this is all about this is all about crucial things you can find around the house that you can use for the winter. Oh, for the winter specifically. The whole thing's winter themed. That's a spoiler for everyone who's wondering. Yeah, this whole time when we spend the next thirty minutes talking about how to survive the winter. Okay. This isn't an opening conversation. That cha- no, no, no. There's no transition. <laughs> this is the conversation. We're talking about Channel Twelve local news. Was the next thing a bic lighter? No, coffee grounds. Because those are also good fire starters. Now, you see? Based on the way the first the one was interrupted, tape, you, put the you would think that. Duct tape. Right. You'd think that. you think like, oh, of course, the way the beans interact with the adhesive, it has a slower burn. Yes, exactly. No, not even a little bit. They're not that connected. They're mu- they were oh. much more episodic delivering the news. I thought it was serialized, too. <laughs> Turns out it's not. It's va- it's honestly alarmingly choppy. I mean, if it's just a local news thing, I don't know. <laughs> but then I got, I got three states under my belt of local news. Okay, I remember True. Channel 69. I know Channel 12. I know the other Channel 12. Mm-hmm. The other Channel 69. This one might have been the worst of them, okay? <laughs> so they said, they're coffee grounds. That's how it starts off, too. Oh, yeah. I forgot what the item Coffee was. grounds. And it cuts to, uh, my, honestly, a mightily attractive woman telling me what to use it for. And that, that might have saved the broadcast until I tapped away from that. You know, when I put on my um, my rose tinted glasses when they came off. Oh well, yeah, it's lesbians and dildos. And took, in their, their exactly, ads. lesbians and dildos and orange juice ads. <laughs> I take it off, right? I'm listening to what she's actually saying and she's telling me how coffee grounds, you sprinkle them Oh, I gotta on... guess what it's for. This isn't for a fighter. No. Fire. Is this like if you get a wound? No. Is this... It's for the winter specifically. You can get a wound in springtime. Why would this be for that? Oh, okay. Is this... 
you pour this into your car's ignition. No, it starts you, the car. Robert, you could pour. You could pour it at any season. Again, you're failing to see the point. This is winter based. Well, I'm sure. What duct happens tape, only in the I'm winter? Sure duct tape starts a fire in the winter or the spring no, or the summer. Oh, no, I mean it was in the snowy it background. Only it was in the cold climate. I saw one example of it. It was a guy with a couple twigs on top of some snow, which may, led me to believe it only happens. It must be some way from the you're right. So from the, the Atlantic here. northern cold air going up, and you know it's something like that where it only happens in the winter. Exactly. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm questioning you. So coffee grounds on the floor for snow to have better traction. Also, apparently it's oh, somehow like salt? apparently <laughs> apparently it's somehow health. Listen, when they were saying it, they said coffee <laughs> grounds, get salt? and I said why not salt? And this fucking bimbo is talking about how apparently that's bad for like the asphalt or something. Yeah, everybody knows that. Who gives like, a I shit? You know what? They're gonna do it again in five like, years. Coffee beans are biodegradable. I'm like I guess not instantly. <laughs> Quick drying doesn't mean instantaneous. <laughs> So wow. then they show just this hot piece of gal ass walking around, right? Mm -hmm. And she's she starts walking, and this is like this is the way you shouldn't walk. Uh -huh. And again, there's no snow on the ground, so this demonstration is really goofy because she's saying like, so <laughs> she's picture there's snow here, snow. <laughs> and she's like, this is how you'd usually walk, right? And then she cuts to some like really cheap graphic of like you know like when you go to the Walmart and there's the Doctor Scholes and there's that machine, yeah. and it shows like the red for oh red's bad pressure, <laughs> yellow <laughs> it's a little pressure, green you're good to go, dude, <laughs> you're right? Good to go, dude. Same exact demonstration. They show a foot, and they show like how you're near walking. You put pressure on the outside of your feet, oh, but that's bad for snow because you can slip. I'm like, no, I know how snow. I get that part. Um, I wasn't lost on the application. I'm curious about the solution, you know. <laughs> and then she starts saying how it's better for you to waddle. And again, is a hot girl talking about penguins, and I like I, I like some of the penguins, right? <laughs> but it's neither here nor there. Waddling. I think I'd actually rather slip and crack my skull than waddle five <laughs> feet to my car, let alone walk the entire our office park parking lot she did. And it wasn't like a five-second thing. The demonstration of how normal walking is, I guess she thought, well, we all know how that works, so I don't need to show that for too long. That was a quick little three steps. I a reminder, though. And then the, <coughs> the penguin safety waddles, and they, cut, they also got the footage from National Geographic. I don't think they licensed, okay, <laughs> showing penguins walking me. Like, see how they waddle naturally, shaking their little asses, and she's, like, lowering her <laughs> hips left and right? That's pretty cool. That's good news. And, yeah, that part was pretty sick. But then she starts waddling for, like, I swear to God, 45 yards. And the camera guy is just watching her get smaller and smaller in a frame as she goes further and further away. Next, so she hasn't fallen over. I'm like, guys, it's there's no the snow water. on the ground. No, it's because of the water. You haven't proven the water. This, this isn't a good. This isn't a good test for anything. First of all, how do you walk with your feet pointing straight? Uh, no, I usually have them char chaplain side to side. Okay, well that's the point. If you just turn I a little bit to traction the <laughs> in the actual snow, this is actually phenomenal movement. That's my point. If you Charlie Chaplin, you're fine. Exactly. That's why. Uh, I don't got Charlie Chaplin joke That's why up. he walked that way. Yeah. He's all <laughs> the snow. Um, what do you think the next thing they tell about he's that? He's out of coffee. They're guys. teaching us more about the winter, right? So they're going to say, here's three. something you should know about the winter when driving. All right? You might don't see do it. <laughs> it'd probably be better honestly because it turns out a lot of the news, almost 90% of the news, spoiler alert, we'll get to it later, is just talking about traffic. Yeah. And not even traffic, cars existing. That's they're just, they're yeah, just the true. acknowledgement of people being on the road. That's like all right, that chalks up like twenty minutes of this time. <laughs> I feel like it's driving real, on this really road. shitty. And the best part was, mom, uh, when we went there, she was saying some spouting off some nonsense in the car, like, "Oh, this place is great. This place is great." First off, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Love Second the buffet. Of, <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking doctor's office, all right. Second of all, she <laughs> says to me, to me, she says, "Oh no, it's so terrific. You know, they're not the kind of place to rush you out the door. You know, they'll easily spend an hour, two hours talking about what you need to talk about." And I said, "I'm in the fucking waiting room." <laughs> I want them to be brisk, okay? I don't want them talking to you for more than 10 minutes about anything. Let alone two fucking hours. Keep in mind, I'm there for, I think I was there for 30 minutes before she went inside. Nice. I think I sat there for another hour and a half before she came out. So it was two fucking hours was correct. It was two hours too I many. I've been doing a lot during that news special. No, that's the worst part. Another spoiler alert. You know what the news also does? I guess they thought, surely no one's watching us for a two hour interval. So the first hour just repeats in the second hour. No way. Not kidding. You ruin the momentum. That's I never fine. watched the news. I didn't even know that. So then they're talking about like things you should know about driving in the winter. Oh, so you watched this driving yeah. segment twice? Yeah, yeah. I watched, no, not, not just that one. Every segment twice. That's fantastic. Okay, honestly, I thought it was going to be a 30 minute episode. Maybe it should be an hour episode. I just repeat all the information from the first part. Dude, upload it that way. Don't even, why waste our time right, saying just, just the copy it and paste again. even better. And they're like, that's weird. They said the copy and paste conversation at the end. That doesn't make sense. Are they going to do it a third time? <sighs> so they're talking about um, things you should know in the winter, right? Uh -huh. And now... Well, do we even get past two? Is this three? Maybe. The coffee <laughs> grounds was two. Okay. You know what one of the best parts I think about the roadway is? 
What are those things they have all over the row that tell you, th- like they, they gesture ideas to you? Uh, lights. Different, no, no, no. So They're different shapes. Uh, signs. Signs. Now, what is, to maybe, what's like probably the first sign you think of in the winter? What's the first sign you associate with the winter? Uh, um, what does that have to say? Road freezes before bridge. Yeah, there we go. Okay, news, these guys on Channel 12, uh-huh. they've, I guess they're just lackadaisically driving, looking up at the sky, because they've never once come across this sign. The reason I know that is because they felt the need to really drive this point home. They said, again, it's the same thing where they just basically scream, coffee grounds. And they're like, bridges, guys. What, did they show the hot chick driving the car and she no, swerved like a maniac? No, some idiot with glasses, some guy, some stupid, uh, I don't know why we're guys that? delivering they're the news. They're watching the news. And they're, yeah, they're watching some fucking, honestly, the picture, what's the most pathetic class to teach in high school? Art. No, because <laughs> girls can teach art and it's fine. It's only when guys teach art. That has to be something that is a loser for no matter what. Social studies teacher. Any male social studies teacher nice. is kind of a jerk off, right? <laughs> so picture that guy. Remember uh, David from Survivor? Yes. That guy. He's delivering the news, okay? Yeah, I don't want to watch the news probably a lot. David's the bald one who I think won. He did win. And he writes for that show that Michael, not Michael, Michael. Michael. What's that? Where are we set the slides up, Michael? Job, Job. Michael. He, was, he wrote the show Job was on. Oh, yeah. That was like, was the one with, with uh, Christian Applegate? No, the Millers one. That everyone thought was where the Millers, but it's not. It's like, Christian welcome Applegate. to the Millers. I don't, I don't know. know. We're getting derailed here. You're good at that. Thank you. So they're talking about bridges freezing over, and they're actually explaining to the viewer at a snail's pace why they freeze over. Now, here's a demonstration of how it happens. And I can't, no, no. I can't entirely, you know, recall the insane roundabout way they had of explaining the well, information. The girl but I know everyone was just sitting there. And there was like six people in the waiting room. And I, three of them didn't speak English, I don't think. But the other two who were watching the news, huh. I think they were on the same page I was on. I think they were just doing like, no land under a bridge. Air freeze faster. Go both ways. Car speed off. <laughs> so then we spend 10 minutes talking about why it freezes over. And they start showing graphics of air going underneath it and saying, look, the air. It makes like a shitty... Uh, how it's made in the narration voice, like an imitation of how it's made. And this is how the air goes exactly. under the bridge. And it shows the swirling, like, it freezes fast. I mean, guys, obviously it freezes faster. <laughs> it's more exposed. <laughs> Air's going, but this isn't that complicated. <laughs> there's no warm ground underneath exactly. it. Exactly. There's nothing, there's nothing, it's just there. <laughs> so it tells that juicy, juicy detail. And then I'm like, all right, finally, we're off the snow segment for a while. What are they talking about next? Snow? No, car crashes. It was, an, it was a good Turns segue out, with the ice freezing. The all road. the news is is actually when I was saying war, death, and famine earlier, I actually meant car crash, car crash, car crash, car crash, car crash. And um, first of all, not news. I someone I don't know going on a serial murder spree. That sounds like news <laughs> to me. Car crash, not news. Even less so when it's people who lived. Okay. <laughs> The only one of these stories I needed to hear about was the three year old baby who died in a car crash. Everything else. Eh, throw it in the bin. Only report the one thing. I don't need to hear about fucking uh, some 17-year-old who was involved in a hit and run. That doesn't sound like news to me. That sounds like Tuesday. <laughs> um, You want to say something? You're just making a weird... You're being weird. You're being weird. I'll tell I'm you. I'm waiting to do my bowl patient. So, but, but, see, why is it when you want to wait for something, you just shut off all other factors of your life and make it all uncomfortable? I don't know. I'll work on that. You should work on that. I appreciate that. Um... I don't know. Basically, watching the news, I just thought that it's kind of crazy how real humans don't tell the news because they lack that humanity thing. And instead, they just found these sad, shit filled shells of people to deliver the news, which leads me to my next point of fuck the news. Following that up with um, probably the most egregious part of the entire cycle. So did they just ab- we're never gonna get a, another thing for the winter survival. We we'll go back to it. Stop. We'll go back to them. They're, it's really told you it's really choppy the way it's edited. Oh, uh, okay. I forgot about that. I, I, I told you they just so, took seven minutes. No and they put five minutes here, five minutes there. There's a part where they talk to fucking New Jerseyans about why they hate winter, and then about twenty <laughs> minutes past me thinking, dude, that was really one sided. And then twenty <laughs> minutes later, they finally showed us the part of people saying why they loved it, and like that would make more sense after the first spot. It's better this. All of yeah, I guess they kept me watching. I'm like, are we gonna get that resolution? <laughs> I thought maybe all New Jersey hated the winter. Turns out some of them do like it. Yeah, it's divided, believe it or not. So the most egregious, we'll go talk about that, actually. The, the interviews of some New Jerseyans, right, talking about why they hate the snow. Why mm-hmm. not, Specifically, every time they said it was snowy winter. Every time, was, they couldn't say the word snowy. They couldn't say the word snow. It had to be snowy, and they couldn't say winter without snow, and they couldn't say snow without winter. So the reason they hated the snowy winter... Also, it's one of those things too. You know, think, you know, like most interviews in a video format. Like maybe it's maybe they ask the same hundred people the same question, but yeah. they have the common decency to show that question being asked once mm-hmm. and then a hundred consecutive answers. Yes. 
okay. I guess the, the whatever you know, Wondershare Filmora they were using. I guess they they didn't have they had a trial to it, and they couldn't actually <laughs> they edit could, the videos they down. Chop any so clips. instead, I had to hear the same question asked every single. Why do you hate? Why don't you like snowy winters? Why don't you like snowy winters? What is it about snowy winters you don't like? You are telling me you don't like snowy winters. What's wrong with a snowy winter? What are your thoughts on a snowy winter? Do you like snowy winter? You don't like snow. Why do you hate snowy winters? <laughs> this is the local news you said? Yeah, Channel 12, baby. I think they did that because it's more personal. Seeing the, yeah, and it's filled their time. Because clearly, yeah, since they had to repeat the first hour of the second hour, they didn't have enough time. What are we going to do, guys? Just but guys, don't, 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 cut, don't cut out. Don't, don't cut him asking out. That's actually a lot of it. That's like, this is what, a 30 minute segment. $10,000 on editing. <laughs> I'm going to save this dude $200,000 right now. <laughs> Um, so for, but then again, I, first off, I love the snow. So fuck these people to begin with. Right. Yep. Snow's awesome. So what do you think the number one answer was? Why they hate the snow? Yeah. Now, it's, it's in montage form. And again, not highly, it's not, there's, it's montage of, you know, I'll do the whole thing for you. You don't need to guess. You're going to get it wrong. He <laughs> says, what do you hear about snowy winters? Shoveling. What don't you like about snowy winters? Shoveling. What is the worst part of snowy winter? Shoveling. <laughs> what do you not like about snowy winter? The shoveling. It's over and over so again, just shoveling, same. shoveling, shoveling, Thank shoveling, you. shoveling. Then what cuts to one random woman who's like, it's so cold in my car. <laughs> Thank God that they said the whole question set up each time because we wouldn't be able to keep track of all those answers. That's true. Thank God they kept re- I thought he'd be asking a different question. Like, damn, yeah. what question was he asking the little people to talk about shoveling? <laughs> it's weird. All people just she was hot, though, so I'll let, that, I'll, I'll let that slide. Yeah. However, the 10 guys saying shoveling over and over and over again, I can't, you know, I wanted to kill him. <laughs> I kind of thought about just shoveling, uh, burying them in the snow since they hate it so much. I'll just shovel them underneath it and kill them. Just get a snow blower, guys. No, these people are all dirt poor. No. It's the news. It's the news. It's the news. What do you mean? Do you think the news talks to people who have things to do? <laughs> yeah, all right, these people were, it was snowing outside. People were just walking around, like, downtown. It is a snowy winter. <sighs> yeah. You work at Channel 12? I do, actually. <laughs> and then in between the people... Now, the mayor told you there's 20 minutes passing from people who hate shoveling people who oh, like yeah. shoveling <laughs> so i'm thinking all right well we spent 10 minutes listening to why these 10 pussies hate shoveling uh-huh. Let's also hear- i like shoveling maybe i'm a little yeah, I don't kooky, know. it's nice a little I peaceful like go outside a little fresh crisp winter air i'm there looking forward to doing it but the actual act of shoveling it's yeah pretty it's fun. very peaceful listen you listen to some music yourself it's pretty nice to sort shit out these guys though can't stand it and i thought all right now let's get the other side of that argument instead it caused a dramatic body cam footage showing <laughs> the frantic <laughs> moments as officers rush to the ice to save two stuck and it says, we'll be right two, back. Two what? Two stuck. What's, what's a stuck? Two stuck. Oh, two people stuck. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Thanks really a lot. say it that way? Yeah. That was, that was, that was, that was, it was in that voice too. It was like a fucking, we're watching cops all of a sudden. Okay. And then it's a commercial break, which again, seems like a weird time to have a commercial break. You just said suddenly there's two people stuck. We're going to cut <laughs> to commercial. On the flip side. <laughs> like, can you save me? He's like, uh, 90 seconds. Sorry. We got, we have a fiduciary responsibility yeah. to our advertisers. Sorry, man. It's going to be great. We don't want to lose this. <laughs> just, just stay, stay still. Um, and then it, first off, who called for help? That's a really good point. This second is staged. Of all, the news is fake. Second of all, how'd you guys get there? If it's so snowy, where were the cops <laughs> in proximity to this event where they get there? And people, someone fell into the ice. I saw a video on Twitter the other day because it's impossible to open up Twitter without seeing videos of people dying. <laughs> I watched a video on Twitter the other day of a forty-year-old woman in. I'm gonna guess just some fucking hillbilly in Michigan, some dirty fucking moron, right? <laughs> Just some jackass. They, um... No, you know, respect the dead, as they say. I preface by saying people dying, so this chick is going to very well die. But what happens is in the video, they have, like, a big rectangle cut out of an ice patch in some fucking lake, and there's some, like, makeshift... Are they ice fishing? No. They're just hanging out. No, no, no. It's a lake at dusk, and they have a big, giant rectangle coffin size funnily enough, yeah, cut out of the ice <laughs> bat. Then there's a guy who is some quasi pseudo religious figure. It's like a picture of a priest wearing shorts, essentially. Okay. It's like, this doesn't seem right. <laughs> He's there, a woman's <laughs> husband who, and he it starts off where him crawling out of the ice hole. And they caught all this on footage. It's like 60 seconds. She, he crawls out of the ice hole and then she goes in. I think she's supposed to be baptized but she like jumps in. The second she jumps in, a giant current comes under the water of the lake that and swoops her away. And she's beelining it to the white pearly gates, I guess, because mm-hmm. she just goes shooting under it. She's dead. Oh, right? Jesus. Now, keep that in mind. I saw that maybe two days before going on the news. Uh-huh. Okay. And then when I'm watching the news, apparently all those guys needed to do was call the cops because they can somehow get there and save everything. You know, that person just got wiped away. They should have okay? tried it. Then, yeah, they should have called it. Instead of posting on Twitter. Why not wait till the lake's not frozen to baptize? Or go and I know that wasn't the person posting someone else posting it. But that went right over your head, so that's fine. What? That's fine. What? What were you saying? 
It sounded really funny what you were saying. Fuck you, dude. Just move on. <laughs> And then suddenly a third person falls into the lake on the news broadcast, and now they're all underwater. And it cut, then it cuts away from them saving, and it's just straight to the, the guy talking about it, like the ch- police chief, about the efforts his guys made. <laughs> so it's two people, two people, this is a commercial break. There's two people stuck in the ice. Cuts back, a third person has fallen! <laughs> and then it cuts to the guy saying, so we saved everyone. No dude, footage shown. Dude, you saw Nightcrawler. They had to push the third guy in there. That's why they had the commercial break. It wasn't exciting. No, he, no, 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 no. You don't listen. The com- it came back from commercial break telling us the third guy fell in. I know. They pushed him in during the commercial break. That was my fucking joke. You don't listen. I'm completely That's not. Your no, you're not. You're so wrong. They cut to commercial break. Two people stuck. They come back. Well, they cut back. Person- and as yeah. they cut back, suddenly the guy falls in. You didn't say the word suddenly once. You're <laughs> suddenly fucking liar, seeking okay? Susan. You're so full of shit. You didn't say suddenly once. You said he cut back and he's in the water. Then it cuts to the police chief saying, hmm, 45 minutes max. Hypothermia is 20. Loss of extremities in five minutes. And then I thought, then how the fuck do they have 40 minutes max to survive under the ice if it's 20 minutes of hypothermia kicks in, five minutes of the extremity, so it's actually, it's actually five breathing minutes in they're this? dead. 20 minutes, they're certainly dead. You're telling me they can last another 25? Well, it takes 25 minutes for the body to actually die. Seems like, an, seems like a gross overestimation from the police force, okay? Well, why is he talking so Seems like some criminal malfeasance. Also, again, the dramatic body cam footage that they alluded to before the commercial break only included the footage of getting out of cars, running to the lake. <laughs> then we cut to a guy talking about all the hero- heroic efforts they did. I think <clears throat> all three of these people died, the okay? Cam- the cameras aren't waterproof, so they had to take their cameras off, go into the water, then come back out to people. That's why you know what probably happened? The third running. person who suddenly fell in was probably the one cop who went over with his body cam footage, and he had all the footage of the rescue, but he fell in. He probably got swept under the tidal wave, too. Mm-hmm. Also, here's another idea. Um... That, just for future reference, maybe don't go into a frozen lake and go underneath it with a giant tide of... Also, it wasn't like a pond. It's like, no, they were in like a great lake. It's also well known that the current happens under the ice. I told you, quasi-priest. Real priest with pants on knows what's going on. Yeah, wear the collar to show him preach, but yeah, shorts can't, show him here the It's party. literally like a collar. Imagine a collar, a tank top, and a bathing suit. Like, it's uh, not even the black shirt, just the collar. <laughs> I, no, he's wearing all black, but it's not... It doesn't This doesn't seem like a... This isn't very... What, um... Doesn't suit the dress code. Seems like a violation. Yeah, it's kind of like when... Uh, Seems like gross misconduct. Of, yeah. Um, so now that person, so like I said, they, they claim they saved all three of the people. I think all three of them died because that video I watched the day before. I'm almost certain they all died. I didn't see the footage. I think the local channel 12 News was like, they thought they had this scoop. Like, I mean, we saved them. And then it's like, shit, we can't run. No, people are going to think we're the problem because we told them to wait till we got there. And now they all <laughs> died and drowned. We got fucking poli- corrupt police precinct uh, chief walking around saying you can last 45 minutes in frozen water. Everybody knows it's and only then 20. he explicitly says 20 minutes of hypothermia, five for the loss of extremities. It's like, so is this the next one I'm in? Just me slowly drifting off? Is that- and also, they're underwater. I thought you didn't even you breathe underwater. For- I, mean, I guess when it's cold, it's a shock. It's like, it's like taking a cold shower. You know, you get the, the, the uh, air out of your lungs. You get that little, Ugh. No, I hate that feeling so much. I love much. that feeling. Um, so after, you know... This faux police story, what do you think it's time to check up back on? Uh, the, uh, uh, a snorkel is number four on the list in case you fall into the yeah, ice Yeah, dude, you're not, even, you're not wrong. It cuts back to, are you wondering how to beat cold? Are you wondering how to beat the cold this year? <laughs> it's a tough battle this snowy winter. Here are some of our life hacks snowy that you got winter. right at home. What do you think the next life hack is? We had coffee grounds, duct tape. I'm going to go spoons. No. Do you have a plastic bag? First off, no, because the government's taking them away from me. <laughs> you know what I have now? I have tote bags. Yeah, not the same thing. Not the same thing. Not the same thing. <laughs> and it really pissed me off. I'm like, dude, no. You know I don't have any grocery bags. I haven't had grocery bags in three years. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> you guys still have the fucking little dispersing. You got the salute. You got, it's disgusting. It's like going through a ghost town. You go to the supermarket. They still have those little metal rungs. And they're know. naked. <laughs> We're in a drought this year. It's sickening. Got a plastic bag? Good. Put it on your side mirrors and tie it tight the night before. Guess what? Snow hack doesn't involve me prepping the day before. That's a really good point. Also, what if it's icing? So the bags are going to get frozen to your, your car now? Do you have to dig through the ice? Well, again, this is one of those cool times where they showed us. Just use the duct tape. No, this is one. Again, this is unfortunately in this snowy winter they keep talking about. This you know segment was unfortunately filmed on a sunny day with no snow. So he just puts it on and then takes it off. And it's like, see? It's like, yeah, sure. Now imagine what if there was snow on there. I you know, can't. There's no snow. You know, it's really good to use that plastic bag. Instead of tying around your mirror, you could tie around your head. You, and, yeah, honestly, that guy looks like Mike McDaniel. Okay? That, that'd be hilarious. That's the segment ended. 
<laughs> and honestly, that guy, Auto Rocks Fixation is the only way he's going out. So that would be really on brand. Most men that look like Mike McDaniel, that's kind of the way. That's kind of the way, yeah. It's two, three, basically. It's part of the code. Three looks. Uh, Carradine, the NXS singer, and Mike McDaniels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the jacket while they're yakking it. <laughs> Uh, next life, the same action. Not even the next one. It's the same one. This is fucking little weirdo oh, so troll. Bag rolls into the no, next one. it's not. It's just he's just. I guess it's, I guess this is just car life hacks. That's his segment because he just keeps talking about his car, his little fucking Accord for the next twenty minutes. Is there a hack to get to your car in case you can't get to your car? No, this hack was actually way more smart, way smarter than that. You think that'd be it, right? Park your car in the living. No, no, no. Uh, cut a potato open like halfway down the middle sure. and rub the potato all over your windshield because of the starch. Maybe. I don't know. I kind of stopped listening the second he said that because I thought about how I'd rather have my windshield actually shatter from the amount of snow on it while I'm blindly driving off a cliff than ever dare to rub a potato on my fucking windshield. And this asshole is like, first off, I'm supposed to do this again the night before it snows. There's a lot of prep work before the snow. Okay, you, know, you know what's the best part about snow is? Okay, going to bed and then seeing it the next day. Not going outside the night before in the blistering cold and make, let me rub a potato over my windshield, put some plastic bags that I can't find anywhere on my fucking... <laughs> oh, that's the funniest part. You know what he did say? Mm -hmm. He said the best part about this life hack is you can reuse these bags. Um, no, that's how we got the whole entire plastic bags are a problem problem because we're never reusing bags. And that was when their initial purpose was to be reused. And it's like, make stronger plastic bags then. Not bags that break with one gallon of milk in them. Make plastic bags that are like the tote bags. So we can stop using the tote bags. We can keep using the plastic bags. Then and then go back to plastic straws. Let's go back to plastic. Plastic's great. Okay. I like plastic. I know, Snapple, I don't know what Snapple's currently doing. I know they've gone from like... We're doing glass bottles, so glass is dangerous for kids. We're gonna do plastic. Plastic's actually pretty dangerous too. We're gonna do glass. We're gonna do we're gonna do glass. We're gonna do plastic. Guys, glass I don't shatters. Know what I don't know what they're doing now, but actually, you know what? This is a bad point. They should do glass. Snapple feels really disgusting and cheap in a plastic bottle. You know what? Change my mind. I say all the time. This show has the very unique ability of flip flopping. <laughs> there should be no plastic. Nope. We should actually only have tote bags. We should have we should have paper straws. Yeah, actually, I actually like tote yeah, bags. Yeah, you know what? The straws that the biodegradable. That's awesome, man. Coffee grounds on the floor. Potatoes on this whole news thing. I soured on it way too early. Yeah. Come to think of it, this is actually all really good advice. I mean, we got that duct tape just lying around upstairs too. Now we have a use for it finally. And it's honestly, I'm thinking, you know, I'm always thinking, you know, what's going on? What's the you know apocalypse scenario? What am I going to do? Mm. I'm always thinking, grab a big lighter. Now I know all I need to do is I can figure out the fire solving problem later when I'm in the woods. Get some, you know, get some uh, sticks and just do it old fashioned. But the duct tapes, I, I want to start the fire. Even though when, when I'm thinking about the woods scenario, I'm thinking it's definitely more easy to find supplies to make the fire keep going than it is to start the fire with the flame. No, that's what they that's what they used to think. Which is weird because Survivor always gives out flint and steel instead of duct tape. Yeah, what the hell is that about? <laughs> yeah, I guess because they need the dramatic stakes of that fire building competition and they're like, well, if we need duct tape, it'd be too, too easy. Yeah, exactly. yeah, Channel 12 News made that very abundantly clear. The only thing you need to start a fire is just duct tape. And here the we pink big lighter he had in his hand, that was... That was that wasn't even necessary. That was just us doing it for you know, just for the sake of doing it. We have to show the entire wilding clip. We can't show him. We we have to just yeah, start jump exactly. on the fire. Um, next, what do, you, what do you think Mike McDaniel had to say next? This also involved prepping the night before. God, this guy loves the prep. Yeah, this guy's a big prepper. Um, put chains on your tires. No, that's no, no, that would, that'd be a logical thing. That, that's some of the news whenever even dare of tackling an actual solution. This Wait, says, yeah, so that's way easier than the whole fucking coffee bean bullshit you're trying to sell. Yeah. They actually sell chains to put on your tires for when there's snow. Yeah, they do. They're already in the tire like glove market. form. Yeah, I mean, You've been, you should be doing it for 60 years. This guy says, hey guys, the night before, go get your shovel and, and lather it in cooking spray. That's actually not a bad idea. I, I, I see where he's going with that. I'm not going to do that, but that's not, I, I not the logic. Fair. And he says vegetable oil as an alternative. Still, I'm not doing it either way. Mm -hmm. And I understand the point. And again, I can't prove this though because again, no snow on the ground. He was just telling us that, hey, the snow will just slip right off the thing tomorrow. It's really weird in this snowy winter we're having. They couldn't demonstrate any of these in the snow. I guess they had a really tight schedule because they had two hour block. They only had one hour footage. You think it's given, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, then it cuts to someone else talking about some more things. And now, now they're just giving us, they're back in the studio for this part. It's not, it's not a segment. Uh -huh. And it's some, um, not the hot, there's two, there's two news ladies and a nerdy guy. It wasn't the nerdy guy or the hot lady. It was the other one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's talk. she's like, uh, winter, winter. What should you do in winter? Uh, fucking, uh, I don't know. Don't fucking smoke or have coffee, I guess. <laughs> you can't. And another one's, and another woman's like, oh, what, why would I? Why would I stop smoking cigarettes? Because it's like, okay, shut the fuck up. And why would I stop drinking coffee? And then the woman's like, um, it's actually very tough on the heart in the cold 
I think her weight was even tougher on the heart. <laughs> That's not a here nor there. That's she actually says, the tough part. You're confusing the coffee thing with the weight thing. It's yeah, actually so the weight you thing. know what? Maybe the maybe the coffee's maybe it's uh, you know what? Maybe the coffee is a bit bad, and maybe the smoking's a bit bad. But I think it's the other thing. I think that th- I think it's the elephant in the room. And that's the thing. That's also that's just communist propaganda because they only want to drink coffee in the winter. It's not because it's bad for us because you need the coffee grinds for the snow. That's it's true. All preparation. That's, it's, all, it's, that's, it's, that's just it. all propaganda. Honestly, man, yeah, that's a big fucking Uncle Joe move right there. News is fake. Um, I don't know. I can't. Um, I, again, I kind of was getting in and out of the broadcast because I kept stepping back and thinking how I can't even possibly take anything they're saying with even an ounce of validity. <laughs> And don't smoke. All right, how about I don't breathe this winter? <laughs> I just won't do that. That's a, probably a great tip. It's probably a lot harder on the heart to constantly be breathing. You know, it'd actually be great if you do that. So that carbon dioxide you're breathing, that's really bad for that's the actually environment. really bad for the wind. So. That's, that's, it's going to cause condensation, which will cause more snow in this scary, snowy winter. So we might as well just stop breathing altogether. Yeah. <laughs> Trust your gut, you know. No one really knows anything. If you think, you know, heroin's healthy, rah, rah. <laughs> you might be right. We'll figure that out in 10 years. But, um... Yeah, I guess thank God for doctor's offices for keeping the news as today's news. Otherwise, it would be yesterday's news because who the hell's watching the fucking news? <laughs> uh, then it goes to the commercial break. Then it cuts back and we're like, all right, you've all been waiting for it. Why do people love the snowy winters now? Because of the shoveling. No, I would have actually probably either A, died laughing or brutally killed everyone else in the waiting room if that happened. It was just got completely insane. One or the other. I would have either been taken away because I couldn't stop laughing or I would have killed every person in that room. In local news today, a young man goes psychotic in doctor's office, kills they everyone. Channel 12 would have loved it. They probably would have said it's like Channel 8 or one of their competitors. Like yeah, channel, channel 8 was on. He went uh, ballistic. Avid Channel 8 watcher. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect, guys. This is the story we need. And then there's one ass, probably the hot girl, not the ugly one. The hot girl saying like, guys, Journalism is about having integrity. And so this whole entire big thing. Fuck your integrity. Our numbers are down. Exactly. Our numbers are down in this quarter. <laughs> uh, so then they're asking about who loves winter. Here's the real kicker. One of the guys overlaps. Nice. That broke my heart, okay? I told you it's all fake. All I wanted to do was take his little kid he was holding. He, he, he's one of those guys who's like, look, I got a kid. Uh, like he's bouncing. I'm like, oh, look, I'm playing with my kids. I'm talking to you. I'm being, I'm being cool. It's like, no, you're, you do, I'm just a dad. You're a, be- you're a piece of shit father. I can tell. Okay, you beat your ch- children. And you're putting up a front for the cameras because you're a poor piece of shit loser who at 3 p.m. on a Tuesday is walking around holding his son in the middle of a fucking <laughs> a little town square being axed by the news. All right? And, you're, and again, you're thinking, dude, what, maybe he's got the day off. Yeah, but anyone who has any respect for themselves tells the news like, fuck no. And they walk past them. No one wants to interview on Channel 12 News. I've never once, ever, once have I ever seen that even occur. So where do these these town no meetings happen? With the news like, is always covering like stars hollow. It might have been on a fucking sound stage. Yeah, it's all sound stages, I think. But I want to take that guy's that kid, kid and throw him in that frozen river they showed us all earlier. Where everyone was drowning to baptize him. It's one way of putting it. <laughs> um, and also, the kid looks like uh, one of my ex girlfriend's bratty little dumb piece of shit nephews. Probably was. Quite also, no, um, that kid probably grew up and is even shittier now. I imagine but he was shitty then. And I thought about throwing him in a river a few times also. So I think it's just some of the blonde hair, pale skin, blue eyes, something. Just makes me, makes me a little fiery fucking rage. I don't know. Also, looked nothing like the father. His wife definitely cheated on him. That's not his kid. But he's talking on... Um, That's the news I want to hear. What's going on in that marriage? <laughs> down, down. She's probably dead on... She's probably buried underneath the deck. She's the one that got baptized. She's, yeah, she's, that's her that is. <laughs> No, then so they're like, what do you love about the wintry snow? Uh, and I then love she's the like, no, then these are these are actually different answers. These don't overlap. Kind of, I mean, unless you consider someone saying warm and snuggly, then someone saying cuddling, then someone saying staying warm is the same answer. Tuesday, you said your car gets really cold in the winter, but you're staying warm now. Uh, this was the best one. Some dumb, 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 dumb bitch responded. Uh, you have to eat so much food. I don't know what that means. I guess she means like just pack on weight for the winter. No, that's what bears do. You're mistaken. <laughs> no. That sounds like a shitty fucking cutaway joke. Um, you can do that whenever. Not only when it's cold out, just so she knows. Uh, then someone responded, uh, I like that it's not too cold. It's winter, so yes, it is. That was a stupid response. And again, they, I guess they had they, they, you know, they had two-hour window. It's like, we can't spare any footage. We only filmed an hour. Put all the dumb answers in, too. For some reason, at least you know, I complained earlier about the guys with the shoveling. At least those answers made sense to me. Uh-huh. People are like... Eating food, <laughs> fucking also, do we hear that it's qu- not cold. Do we hear the question every time again for yeah. this time? Okay, because that would been hilarious. They didn't keep it for me. Uh, what's your favorite part of winter? What's your favorite part of the snowy winter? Uh, my favorite part of the snowy winter is that spring comes after. So when it's the end of winter, it's springtime. That's not an answer to why you like winter. That's an answer as to why you like spring. It's kind of an answer to why you don't like winter, actually. <laughs> why were you in the I hate winter part? 
Because he loves shoveling. I yeah, you know, I do love shoveling. <laughs> he looked like a person who would love shoveling, actually. I pack in all the food and I shovel. That's how I stay so fit. In the and then they asked uh, a really hot girl with a nose ring. How, and she said she loved the pretty landscapes and the smell of the winter air. And I've never so had a I got to find her. Girl with the nose ring. I got to track her down. She gets it. And also, you know, now I know she lives in North Jersey. That's half the battle. That's half, really. dude. <laughs> how many, yeah, exactly. How many hot 20 somethings could possibly be North, in North Jersey with a vagina and a nose piercing? You just, before the nose piercing thing, dude, it was a pretty large number. You just limited it I narrowed it to down like to like 72. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I, can, I can go through 72. That's not too bad. <laughs> it's respectable, even. And then, uh, yeah, apparently, um, this is the part where it starts to overlap a little bit. Mm. And As they go back to the very beginning now. of the broadcast. And the best part, too, was when I first started thinking about how annoying this stuff was, I kind of trailed off when I went on my phone for 20 minutes. Mm. But since it looped back, which I guess is the best part of the news, I got to see the initial disgust that was formed. I think they do that on purpose, actually, because they know no one's paying attention. They want to keep, yeah. Plus, how much can go on in the day? That's true. If we're to have a whole couple hours of the news, it's just fucking, it's just another day of the week, guys. How many car crashes can you possibly report on? But no, they tell us, they show, then they cut to some video, which I kind of only walked in at the end of it. So I guess it was good. I got to see the beginning of it. True. They go to some, like, little snot-nosed kid who's, it's just one of those annoying shots where it's like, you know, you were complaining in the episode last night. Oh, no, we, no, we, we, were, no, we watched that, uh, the Donna Pinciotti making that, sh whatever that two-minute nonsense oh, yeah, she posted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't even a real, real here's meal. Chicken, here's chicken, And her kids done. are playing in the background. You're all annoyed by it. Yeah. Saying it's, it's either include your kids or don't have them in the background being annoying. Yeah. Same thing in the news broadcast where- Don't treat like a prop either. Like that guy holding his kid. Exactly. Well, this is even worse. This is a mother, okay? And their <laughs> picture, your walk up, right? It's one. It's like uh, three, four stone steps mm -hmm. and then little crappy old railing and it's all spray painted. Not spray painted like fuck and spray paint out of a can, spray paint like it's all just sprayed. Okay. Aerosol spray. What the fuck would I say? It's a spray gun. Spray gun. And then uh, the shot is the mother holding the little kid's hand, who's the camera's low, so it's like it's on her pussy in his head. Nice. Because she's holding his hand as the interviewer asks the kid his thought on what's happening. It's actually. But then the commentary. mother's also holding a kid in her other arm that's crying. And then their front door is open. There's three kids, maybe hers, all running around, playing in the background, also screaming. Wow. And for some reason, the news team at Channel 12, no one thought, you know what? Let's put him in the driveway. You go over here. You close your fucking... You know what? You go in there with your kid. We're not going to do anything weird. We're going to hit your room. We'll give him right back to no, you. This is the okay? first thing for Happy Fire. You have to call the Oprah people. We can't run the story. What? You probably can't even track that. Not even a little bit. She probably doesn't. So Dak Shepard says. Wow. This is the furthest thing for Happy Family. No, we can't run the story. All right, man. I actually got that one. Yeah, dude. This a Robbie reference. moment. So this little kid's talking about how uh, how his house was flooded and they needed to get his uncle's boat. They never showed his uncle's boat. I don't know if that was a bit, but apparently he was saying there was so uncle, much. Mom's boyfriend. It was so time. much water in the basin that he got his uncle's boat. Again, I don't. It, honestly, true. Thank you. It probably is his mom's <laughs> boyfriend because again, there's seven kids running around, no man in the house. How many uncles does this kid have? At least seven. That's a good point as well, man. Oh, you're, six. You're, oh, oh, yeah, I don't know. Would his dad be his uncle also? How would that one work? He probably doesn't know who his dad is. So How come Uncle Chad only uncle. gives me birthday presents? Yeah, it's it. like, um, that is weird because he's Billy's father. Who's my dad? Fucking one of the other six. Uncle Steven? Yeah, I think Bob? maybe I Steve, Steve or Tom. One <laughs> there of the is two. no Steve or Tom. Oh, shit. That was a couple boyfriends ago. Yeah, I'm not, I, I don't really know who your father is. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I see that kid say the thing three times. Then it's, uh... Back to the weather report again. It's the same, just nonsense repeating over and over again. And it's just this news that I don't even classify as news is apparently so newsworthy that it's worth repeating. Pretty, it was a shock to my system. I'm sure it's a shock to yours. And then, um, I don't know, we go back to the report of car crashes. And they're like, all right, here's six car crashes that happened today. This is the news. Because <laughs> of the snowy winter. Takeaway, just the overall story. You're thinking six car crashes, what, six people died? Mm-mm. Five people died. I'm sorry, five people lived. I even tricked myself. Five people lived. Only one died, which then begs the question. The accident, no, it was the three-year-old going through the windshield. That's besides the point. Oh, you brought the, you, oh fuck. I forgot there was <laughs> an actual serious fatality at the start of the story. But I certainly didn't need to hear about an 87-year-old who crashed into his garage. That's not the news. It doesn't really count as a car crash. No. I didn't need to hear about this fucking 24-year-old uh, female driver who had a single vehicle road run off because of snow. That's, that's, just, that's just a 24-year-old female driver. That's just the most... Also, you know what proof of that's annoying? Is on, on the fucking driver's license test, that's one of the questions when I was fucking like 17, 18, that said, 
Um, what's the most common cause of crashing vehicle? And it, and it was like four A, B, C, or D. And the uh, C was fucking single vehicle runoff. That was the most common one. That also happens regardless of the snow or not. Number two was like being <laughs> T-boned. Oh, yeah. So what does that do winter? It doesn't. And also, how is this news? If it's the most common way to get in a car crash, how is this news? It's the opposite of news. Didn't need to hear about a fucking medical evacuated teen who's survived. <laughs> Doesn't seem necessary. He's alive. Don't need to hear about the fucking 21-year-old hoodlum hit and run. Don't need to hear about that. Fine. Tell me about the three-year-old who went through the windshield. I get that. That seems like that's newsworthy. It's a little sad. Okay, it's a little bit of spotlight. Maybe some donations going. I get that. Okay. <laughs> Everyone else, not newsworthy. And some fucking... Actually, well, this guy also survived. I guess his story was kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. He, um... He survived, so I'm kind of torn if it's the news. <laughs> but it's some guy somehow got crushed under a car in a parking lot. They they did no explanation, no even attempt to explain what happened. They just told us, all right, so this guy, uh, well, on, either on the way home from work or <laughs> going into work, his car flipped over and it landed on him and then like, crushed his leg, but he's fine. And he's walking. Maybe. I don't know. The only thing that's interesting about it, though, is that they cut to, like, on four different occasions talking about him, and they showed a picture of him next to Hillary when she was the senator mm -hmm. at some 9-11 memorial thing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just weird that there's another person they know that, like, tried to kill themselves, I guess. I don't know. That's <laughs> that's weird. There's another person they happen to know. And they kept cutting the footage He's being, not, like... The car flipped itself. Yeah, the car... That's what they made That's why they no details. Like, yeah, I guess a car flipped over, and he's okay. So like, I'm, assuming that, I'm assuming he went into his... Uh, I don't know, I guess in his hotel room, he probably like cranked the anesthesia up all the way and killed himself or something. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> I hate when that happens. But yeah, and it was it was really weird, though, because I honestly thought that every doctor's office was legally required to play Fox and Friends specifically. <laughs> I thought that too. Not the local news. So I thought that, you know, so even though you're sick in the office, you can at the very least see all the leggy blondes, you know, Joe Rogan's favorite Fox Bop bimbos. And why else would you watch the news? Exactly. If not for the Fox Bot Bimbos. Not watching and unlike Joe Rogan, guy. I can actually say Fox Bot, bim Fox Bot Bimbos without backpedaling and being like, well, no, they're Bimbos, per se. You know, I'm just saying that more of like a, an overarching term. It's a term of endearment. I mean, uh, I'm actually not going to, you know, what I'm, actually, what I'm trying to say, Joe, is that all news anchors, male and fucking female, all Bimbos. Yeah, it really does describe the personality type of become a news person. Yeah, complete Fox Bot Bimbos.